curator of a music festival. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Can it be anybody living or dead? Well, like how many people do you get to pick? <laughs> Listen, Just tell yeah. them we have as much money as possible, you can pick book, book All right. and fans. Curate? I'd have a set line. <laughs> Basically just bands I selfishly have never seen and I really want to see before I die, those kind of people. Solange Knowles, I have no doubt. I have Heim. Heim, I have Garbage. D'Angelo, Sade, um, Destiny's Child, and Beyonce. Lindsay uh, Buckingham, uh, or just Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac with Christine McVie. Right. Kraftwerk with Florian Schneider. Have uh, Andrew Dice playing the comedy time? <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to see Bob Dylan. That'll be cool. Let's see him play. Neil Young. Neil Young. Uh, uh, Tom Waits. Prince. Panda Bear. Yeah. I just saw a woman called Angel Olsen playing in LA and she just plays with electric guitar and then Helena Coney, beautiful Jeff Buckley star. So she'd be playing. I'd have Foxygen. I'd have Mac DeMarco. I'd have Jai Paul. Beyonce. We'd Robin. Definitely Beyonce, we definitely have Robin. Maccabees. I reckon Florence and the Machine should be there. I would choose Lady Red because that's my favorite band and I've never seen them. So I would like play. Definitely Further. Further would be cool. Modest Mouse. Sure, you know. Yeah. Old Brown and S. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Weezer. <laughs> I didn't make it all comedy. All comedy and time. then we had like. <laughs> No, there's a lot of good people. <laughs> I haven't seen Tom Petty before, I've never seen Tom Petty. Uh, I've never seen Nick Cave before, or Brian. I would get the Tom I've never seen Metallica, so I'd like that to play. Disclosure, subtract. Probably Arcade Fire. Alex Winston. I'd want Tame Impala to play as well the other night, and I would say amazing. Tame Impala? Sure. Yeah. Silverman? <laughs> Seinfeld. Oh, that's good. I would like games. 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 Peter Bashmore. Um, Donny Hathaway. Maybe Tracy Chapman. Bonnie Bear. I wouldn't mind uh, Cocktail Twins showing up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a British soul musician called Laura Mavula, M-V-U-L-A, and she has like her sister plays violin and she has live strings and a harp, and then she sings. It kind of reminds me a bit of Alice Coltrane. I thought she was amazing. Words, the babies. Yeah. They both went on there. The twerps. Twerps, definitely. So I thought it would be in main support. He'd be right under us. <laughs> He's around that, I think. What would you want? I would like uh, the Arctic monkeys. And then I'd probably have the cure for an old school kind of old school 80s vibes. <laughs> Get Theo Parrish to spin. Maybe Omar S in Detroit. House. Yeah, but for the late night, for the rave day. Yeah. Yeah, like Jerry Chandler, Chandler from Kanye West. And everyone I've never got to see before. Oh, and me. Yeah, that'd be, yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. And me, maybe. <laughs> I'd like to create a festival. It's a front-loaded festival. <laughs> <laughs> only headliners. It's only headliners. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds expensive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got a little carried away for you? <laughs> Wait, we just want to That's just um, so much fun. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's hard to say because I think, for me, the real pleasure of music festivals is not really knowing who you're going to see. And so, um, I sort of feel that I'd rather, in a way, it was kind of more of a surprise than actually choosing myself because, um, yeah, I know that's kind of the whole festival thing for me. It's just kind of wandering around, going and watching random uh, bands and not really knowing who they are, or just having kind of a more of a holistic experience. So, I'm going to see them play.